Hey guys, it's Sharika and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you. So today we are doing some blue crab. These look so delicious. I haven't had blue crabs in a while. And I have some corn and sausage. And I have my dip back here. Gotta have that dip for the blue crab. So for today's drink, I'm doing a little pina colada very simple i have the ingredients in the description box below all right let me say my grace so we can get started all right y'all look how big these things are they're huge and i did get jumbo so I don't know how much talking I'll be doing because y'all know blue crab is a lot of mouth work. We got a piece of meat. I can oh. Ooh. Y'all. Y'all look at that, that big piece. Just a nice little chunk of meat. And you're just gonna dip it. Get your nice uh, give, me, give me my meat back. Stick it, get you some nice little sauce on there. Mm. So good. So y'all. What I like to do with my crabs. I like to um, cook the crab, then I clean the crab, mm. and then I put them back in the water and let them soak. Now lately, I've been um, just boiling them and plain water then clean them and then season my pot because I don't know I just feel like I kind of waste seasoning a little bit because when I'm cleaning them I rinse everything out so I just started doing it that way plain water first Clean them out, then let them soak in some seasoned water. It's, it tastes the same. Good as book. <laughs> For real. I do have a video on us going crabbing, catching the crabs, cleaning the crabs, cooking the crabs. So I have that link in the description box. And y'all please excuse that noise if y'all can hear it. That is the landscape people outside. I've been waiting trying to let them finish up, but they're taking too long. So yeah, when you clean them, season them up, you'll get something like this. And it's way easier to eat them. You know, you just pop this shell off, clean the insides, and there you go. It's really easy to get to the meat. Look at this. And you'll be surprised on how many people that don't know how to eat blue crab. I just don't know how to get in the crab. But you have to be careful on how you, how long you cook the crab before the meat will mush up on you. And when I'm biting it like this, y'all, I mean, you have to eat blue crabs for a while to understand. 
Some people try to crack these little legs open. Mm, that's a waste of time. You can just bite the shell and the meat will kind of slide out in your mouth. So. We love us some blue crabs in Duval. get into these crabs. Let me come right out. Ow. Let me get one and set the bottom because I know it's real hot. Get a nice little piece for y'all to see it. Put a little bit of butter on it for y'all. That's a nice little piece right there. And I'll just dip it in the sauce. And there you go. Love these blue crabs, y'all. This is my favorite crab. Mm. The blue crab. So much flavor. To me, no other crab holds this much flavor. This crab has the best flavor. Period. And then the um, Dungeness. Uh oh, I got my towel. Now with the claws, sometimes you might look up and be able to pull it out like this. Or you can just crack it with your teeth. And if you don't want to crack them with your teeth, you can use a little seafood cracker. Just crack it all the way around like that. And then you'll have your nice little piece of meat like this. so good and sometimes I look up take this little cracker here and just get the rest of the meat out That. Mm. Oh, 
I know my blue crab lovers, y'all like, oh, I gotta go get me some crab. It's so many different ways or different things you can put in your um crab pot. My sister put like neck bones. Some people put chicken, oranges, lemon, limes, you know, vegetables and stuff like that. y'all I suck that shell get that meat right off the they just season so good and this is only um six crabs it might look like a lot maybe it don't I don't know can y'all see it good let me pull it back some I got those little seafood crackers from um, Walmart. Well, Tony picked them up for me. But I'm pretty sure he got them from Walmart. If y'all want to get y'all some. See if I have anything in this one. Or just a little piece. The time be going so, by so fast. Now that seasoning. Break that in half. Peel that shell back on the side. Uh -oh. And just bite into that meat.
y'all it's so good oh snap wait a minute Now, if you guys have not tried this um, mayo and mustard dip with your, especially if y'all in Jacksonville, now y'all should be ashamed of y'all self. But I'm sure most people in Jacksonville know about this dip because like I said, they even sell it at the Juicy Crab, but they don't add, everybody add different stuff to theirs. So y'all know I add mayo mustard accent and frank's buffalo sauce to mine at the juicy crab it's just mayo and mustard mix but you gotta add some stuff to take it to the next level y'all know some people cut up onion and bell pepper some people do the mayo mustard ketchup But I like a little tang to mine. My time is almost up. I'm gonna still sit right here and eat my crap off camera. I might as well just go on and grab my laptop and watch something. Watch some YouTube or something. Okay, guys. So, I hope you're done eating if you're eating with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the next two videos at the bottom of the screen. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, y'all.